what Michael Jordan was able to do was take it to that Babe Ruth place where basketball had become ingrained in the country's entire consciousness. The Air Jordan was something that transcended all these different borders that hadn't really been transcended before. The shoes gained very quickly a huge street value in American culture. And all of a sudden overnight, it was just like everybody wanted them. What the hell is a Nike doing? We're in now the 80s, and we're putting a black guy on television to sell shoes to white America. What he did in terms of global marketing and giving other black athletes a blueprint to do that was quite revolutionary. David Falk, to his credit, said, I got a name for this thing. It should be called Air Jordan. Michael always tells me it's the first and the last great idea I ever had. <laughs> It was like what the Beatles were, people screaming, and then you had Michael Jordan. You had Paul and John rolled into one. They had hoped to sell $3 million worth of shoes, and they sold $126 million the first year. No one did for marketing what Nike and Michael did for marketing. Nobody. Everything he was doing correlated to those shoes, and we bought into that because what was the tagline they were selling us? Is it the shoes? You said, Damn, man, I can't be Michael Jordan, but I can have this piece of what he represents. The demand of his product and product with his name on it had reached a point where crimes were basically being committed. Nike, they have a responsibility in this, and they have to do something. And if nothing happens, we'll see more cases like this. You'll see more mothers and fathers like me. The real problem is, they don't want to address it in a meaningful way. If the Air Jordans are in the image of Michael Jordan, shouldn't he have some say about what's going on? I am in no way, shape, or form blaming Nike for my son's death, but they can say something. <laughs>